Um, I just really love, I love your, your, this slow medicine because I, I, I also feel it's the most important thing to slow down and just like something simple as when I walk slow or when I walk fast, it's, it's such a difference, you know, when I walk mm -hmm. every, she every step. She hates walking slow. When I walk slow, she's always like, come on, let's go. Yeah. But when I do walk slow, it's mm -hmm. really great. <laughs> and I mean, that's that's all, that's what we do in our workshops. That's what we do, we do in the in the concerts. It's a slowing down. It's like, yeah. just, and uh, where you really, I mean, slow eating. Everything is really better when it's slow. And um, and just explain to me why you called it slow medicine. Well, there's a couple of reasons uh, that it, that's term slow seemed right to me. One was, I do think the fast world, the world that we live in is, is moving at a very fast pace. The intensity, uh, the complexity, in a way is, uh, if you were going to use a word, fast. And it bombards us in such a way that it stimulates our nervous system, particularly the sympathetic aspect of our nervous system, the fight or flight response. And what I learned when I looked at people who were sick with conventional medical diseases when, that, when diagnosis were given, the common denominator of a lot of those ailments was the hyperstimulation of the sympathetic nervous system. And in a word, that system is the fast activated system. And I thought to myself, gee, if, if fast is the disease, then slow is the medicine. Mm. And the slow is the parasympathetic nervous system, the, the counterbalancing arm of the autonomic nervous system, which exists in all of us and just needs to be basically turned on. Uh, this is something if we learn to activate, we could balance the effects of the fast world. That was one, one aspect of it. So it, was the, it wasn't really going slow specifically because some people equate slow with nearly stopping and no progress and no movement. Of course, stagnation is not what I'm talking about, but still slow as a word is somewhat uh, hard for people in our culture, you know, to, to move slow. Um, on the other hand, it's about not being so fast. And so that most people can appreciate that we need to get from fast to something in between at least. And therefore, if the pendulum is swinging in one direction, you need to pull it with the slow arm in the other. Um, and so that's one way of looking at it. The other is, um, is the understanding that, you know, just think about how we take care of babies. You know, without complexity, how I'm, I'm young parents would take care of an infant. If the infant was crying, you would not be running around the block holding your infant. Uh, you would hold it, make it snug, warm, consider feeding it, consider changing its diaper, consider those things that might be aggravating the infant. And in general, the rhythm would be closer to your breath, closer to your own calm heart rate. And, we, and when parents are anxious, they realize that their child tends to be anxious in their presence. And so what young parents tend to learn to do is to come down to the level of the infant. Well, even though we're older, much of what ails us is that same infantile reaction to stimuli, particularly stimuli that are noxious. And there's a lot of sources of noxious stimuli. And so, again, the medicine is, is the embrace, you know, <laughs> one of your albums. Uh, but that's an incredible concept. It's not, uh, it's very old. It's, it's very ancient. It's wise. Uh, it doesn't, we don't need necessarily modern technology to prove this. We could just think about what all young parents do. Mm -hmm. um, and music, just as an aside, is a way to activate a certain rhythm and to get harmonics going on the level of the electromagnetic fields in which we are, are embedded and in which we are, and to try to get resonance. And when we resonate, we feel better. Subjectively, we also feel better, and we are clearer, and we are more capable, and we have better flow of energy. So this is, this is essentially how the word slow comes to be.